Hi everyone, Swift Jar here. Hello. Today, we're jumping into a Mario Party Superstars discussion. When Mario Party Superstars was announced, at first I thought it was Super Mario Party DLC. However, I was jumping for joy when it was announced at the end of the trailer it was in fact a new installment for Mario Party. My excitement was even further enhanced when dissecting the trailer and reviewing the Treehouse footage. For me, this felt like a true return of form to Mario Party that I've personally wanted since Mario Party 8. I mean, I was so motivated by the announcement of Superstars that I even started my own YouTube channel. However, one topic of discussion that I saw come up a fair bit online was that this game should have been Super Mario Party DLC, as that game had sold really well and only received one major update, which is two years post-launch. Today, I'm going to be discussing my opinion on whether or not I believe that Mario Party Superstars should have been Super Mario Party DLC. Before we start, thanks to the support I've received so far, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Mario Party Superstars when the game launches. To be eligible, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Bonus entries are going to be given if you follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well, so essentially you can have up to 3 entries. This is all coming out of my pocket, so it'd be appreciated if you could stick around and follow my content. It's all related to Nintendo, so if you like Nintendo, it's right up your alley. One differentiating factor of Mario Party Superstars compared to Super Mario Party is that Superstars is compatible with button play, meaning that it has no need for motion controls and can be enjoyed on both Nintendo Switch console variants. Super Mario Party was unable to be played on the Nintendo Switch Lite. However, Mario Party Superstars allows Switch Lite owners to enjoy the game, which is an important demographic to consider in 2021. Mario Party Superstars gives Switch and Switch Lite players equal footing, and it ensures that one console isn't better than another, especially in terms of its first party support. For me, this is a very valid reason that Superstars is a standalone title, rather than being known as Super Mario Party DLC. Another reason why Mario Party Superstars works better as a standalone game versus DLC has to do with the nostalgia it carries. Much like Super Mario 3D All-Stars, this game celebrates the previous titles and experiences from the early years of the series. Relegating it to a DLC pack would seem like a disservice to the franchise's history. It also gives newcomers to the world of Mario Party a chance to enjoy its greatest hits from games that are harder to access now. With button controls instead of Joy-Con motion, Nintendo's fan bases can unite, thanks to Mario Party Superstars being more than just DLC. We however can't ignore the fact that a lot of the UI for Mario Party Superstars is borrowed directly from Super Mario Party. However, there are several aspects which have been improved for Superstars. Some examples do include the return of 10-sided dice, the economy seems to be more balanced with better priced items, stars costing 20 coins, minigames not handing out coins to last place, a large number of minigames with some of the best from the whole series, a more fleshed out party mode, plus online from launch for supporting all modes, return of booze, plus stealing stars is now 50 coins, return of chance time, faster gameplay, as well as many other positive changes. So in my opinion, from what we have seen so far, I honestly believe Mario Party Superstars does enough to differentiate itself to be a standalone game. However, I can also see and respect others' opinions who think it should have just been DLC, especially considering how well Super Mario Party sold. I hope ND Cube support this game post-launch by releasing DLC or free updates. There are many boards, characters, and minigames from the N64 era ND Cube can draw from, which will keep the hype alive post-release, unlike Super Mario Party. How about you though? Do you think Mario Party Superstars should have been Super Mario Party DLC or not? To keep up to date with all new information that drops on Mario Party Superstars, make sure you're subscribed to ensure that you don't miss me discussing it, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm also on Twitter and Twitch as well, at SwiftJar, so be sure to follow me over there. I have an entire playlist of Mario Party Superstars for you to check out as well, so be sure to have a look down in the description or click the link on screen. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next video.